guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. So I've been noticing lately a lot of comments on how to prevent end of the semester burnout. I know a lot of you guys are starting nursing school and you always start really strong, but how do you finish strong as well? Energy and focus is something that I'm extremely passionate about. I have a lot of goals, a lot of dreams, a lot of things that I want to accomplish, and it's not possible without energy. So I really have found a lot of ways to cultivate energy and to always energize myself and inspire myself and I'm happy to create this video for you to share a lot of the tips that I do on a daily basis. Um, many of them I started when I was in nursing school. So something strange happened to me the other day. Usually I ha wake up with a lot of energy and I have energy that lasts pretty much all day. Energy and focus. Um, so my husband went away for a business trip and he was going to be gone for about 48 hours and when I record videos my entire house becomes just a, a mess and it's really hard to live here I have to say so when he said he was leaving I said okay great I'm gonna spend all of this time and focus and you know I'm gonna create a lot of videos and then something happened. I set up all of my recording equipment and got everything ready, but first I went to check email, followed by checking Facebook, then I went on YouTube, then checked Twitter, then I thought about my next book, then I thought about how much work it's gonna be to write my next book, then I thought about my three month goals, five year goals, and my 10 year goals. After all of this hard thinking, I got something that's called vloggers block or video bloggers block. I got so tired that I spent an entire 48 hours thinking about my life. I went deep and I mean deep. Why am I here? Who am I? Are we spiritual beings having a human experience or human beings having a spiritual experience? Why is our planet here? What really is gravity? Think about it. Why is our galaxy here? How are we connected to each other? What is truth? After all this contemplation, I was seriously drained. Then thoughts of inadequacy started rolling in. Who am I to create a video on energy when I have no energy myself right now? It was such a strange 48 hours that I went through. I seriously have not felt like this in a really long time. And then it hit me. When I was in nursing school, I had these feelings all the time and I learned ways to cope with them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you eight tricks to not only start strong, but finish stronger. So let's get started. Tip number one. Decide that the goal of becoming a nurse is a worthy goal for you to pursue. When I was in nursing school, I had many doubts, many questions came to my head. Am I doing the right thing? Am I really the type of personality that should become a nurse? Whatever that means. Do I like medicine? Is nursing a good choice now and for the future? Do I even like hospitals? When the questions started coming in, I started to do a lot of research online. I spent countless hours just scrolling from site after site after site, trying to figure out if this was a worthy goal for me to seek after. Ultimately, I decided that pursuing a degree in nursing would only help me in life. It seemed as though it was a degree that opened up many different doors. I loved reading about the outlook, about the future, and all the different options that a nursing degree could offer. Honestly, I had so much fun doing this research, and after I would do it, I would have so much energy to continue on. One thing that I always wanted to do was write an ebook containing all of the awesome information that I was always looking up. So I did that, and the, the title of the book is called Nursing. The future is brighter than you think. And if you look below in the description section, you can see how you can get it for free. When you are questioning whether or not this is a worthy goal for you to seek after, I want you to refer to the contents in the book, and hopefully you will find some comfort there. Oh, one more thing I would like to add about becoming a nurse it doesn't have to be the only thing that you do or the only career you're ever gonna go after. It could seriously be a stepping stone, but one that'll put you in a position to have a lot more opportunities open up. Step number two, once you've decided that this is a worthy goal to pursue after, get moving and get those endorphins flowing. I absolutely love to work out and one of my favorite ways to work out is by dancing. When I was in nursing school though, I seriously could not afford a night out. Both by energy and financially. This really made me depressed until I decided to have my own private dance party. No late nights, no hangovers, just pure fun. At first I felt a little silly, but then I really just started to enjoy myself. What you will need to have your private dance party is a device with your favorite jams on it, either an MP3 player or your phone, headphones, hot clothes, makeup, a mirror, and a room where you can be by yourself. Get some energy out and have some fun. Step 
Step number three, which is to simplify your life. Brian Tracy in his book, Eat That Frog, which I highly recommend, goes over a concept he calls the 80-20 rule, which is 20% of the things that you do give you 80% of your results. So the goal is to find the 20% of things that you do which will give you the results you want. But he says that most people are unsuccessful because they spend time doing 80% of the things that will not give them the results that they want. When I heard this, I quickly jotted down my five to 10 year goals, and then I also jotted down a list of things that I needed to do to make sure I accomplished those goals. Then I was disciplined and I made sure I did them, which I know you will be too. Next up for energy and focus is to examine the things that you're worried about. Worrying is something that can drain your energy faster than anything that I know. Remember this quote, I am an old man and have seen a great many troubles, but most of which have never happened. Mark Twain. One thing that I have learned from taking care of many patients is that many times that they will voice things that they are concerned about, they will worry about their condition, they'll worry about their kids, they'll worry about the weather, they'll worry about the doctors, they'll worry about what the nurses think, They'll worry about how people feel about them. Ultimately, I noticed that they spend a lot of time worrying about things that they have no control over. I can firsthand attest that this will indeed have a dramatic impact on your body. One of the most notable things is the blood pressure. When you're worried about things that you can't control, nothing will make that blood pressure go up faster than anything else. And that's just one symptom. So make sure you have faith that if you work on the things that you have control over, that everything else will work itself out. Also, develop this belief, what's best for me is best for everybody else. One thing that I found challenging was that I was going to school to become a nurse because I like to take care of people. But in order to get the grades that I needed to succeed, I had to be more selfish with my time and energy than I ever had to before. This is what I said to myself and I encourage you to say it as well. If I succeed, it'll help my family. If I succeed, it'll help myself. If I succeed, I will become a better person, which will ultimately help my family, it will help my community, it'll help my state, my country, and my world. Becoming the best you can be really is the best thing that we all can do. Step numero cinco. Set yourself up for success. Some things you can do is to always have your syllabus near you. Make sure you stay on top of projects and deadlines. Be in close communication with your professors. Clean your area. Have a clean area to study. Also remember, if you have a bad day or a day where you make no progress, just forgive yourself and focus on how you can make tomorrow a massive success. Step number six, eat small amounts of healthy food at a time and never go to class on a full stomach. A full stomach is sometimes paralyzing. After a huge meal, all the blood will rush to your stomach to absorb that meal and leave your brain feeling foggy. Also, one dieting trip that makes me feel refreshed all the time is a cup of hot water with lemon. I realize that I like coffee, but if I drink too much coffee, it just makes me feel kind of frazzled. So replacing one cup of coffee with the hot water and lemon really is a refreshing treat. Also, always have healthy snacks all around you. Some of my favorite snacks are nuts, sliced grapefruit, hard boiled eggs, chia pudding, which I'll place the recipe below, and as many leafy greens as you can get your hands on. I also love slices of avocado on toast. These are just to name a few snacks. Tip number seven, feed your mind positive information. Nothing is more powerful than adding positive words to your mind. The way I think about it is like this. My current thoughts have allowed me to experience everything that I see today. But in order for me to get where I want to go, I must think differently. The easiest and fastest way I know to think differently is to put other people's thoughts in your head and let them brainwash you. One of the easiest ways to do that is to listen to audiobooks. Find people that you admire and who you want to be like and put their best thoughts in your mind. Here are some of the most powerful and life-changing quotes that I learned in nursing school and I still think about almost on a daily basis today. The Key to Success is Action by Brian Tracy from the book, Eat That Frog. The only way to keep from going backwards is to keep going forwards. Eternal vigilance is the price of success. Charles F. Honnell, from the book, The Master Key System. Most people overestimate what they can accomplish in a year, and they underestimate what they can accomplish in a decade. Anthony Robbins, from the book, Awaken the Giant Within. 
At some point, you have to stop acting as if life is happening to you and acknowledge the ways you are happening to it. Once you take responsibility for your side of the street, you grant yourself to improve every aspect of your life by simply acting and behaving differently. Jillian Michaels from her book, Unlimited. And the final step, step number eight, is to write your goals down and put it in a place where you can see it every day. I actually have my goals all over the place and one of the main places that I have my goals is on a dry erase board that sits in front of my bed. So every morning I wake up and I see my goals. So ask yourself these questions and write down the answers. Where do you wanna see yourself in five years? Where do you wanna see yourself in 10 years? Let yourself get excited and ask questions that are going to make you get creative and excited and, and ask positive questions. You are creating your life every second. What you do right now will set you up for the life that you will experience in the future. Ask yourself questions that'll make you excited, like how smart could I be in 10 years? How well off could my family be in 10 years? How many friends could I have in 10 years? How much money could I have in 10 years? You are the curator of your life and you create your life by the questions that you ask yourself. So make the questions good because by asking yourself questions, you will have to come up with the answers. When you come up with the answers, think of the steps that you need to get there. Let those goals be a compass. You will have days where you fall back, but on those days, think about ways that you can come back stronger. All right guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you don't mind, I'm working on a lot of videos, but one of the videos that I'm working on is the nursing resume. What questions do you have about the nursing resume? Please post your questions below so that I can make sure I make the best video possible for you guys. Also, please subscribe to the channel for media updates. You can subscribe by clicking the button right here. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, so I think I'm gonna go back to my dance party.